After a decade of debate expansion to Medicaid could be coming to North Carolina. State House and Senate leaders announcing an agreement today. It will allow the state to beef up critical shortages in areas of health care like behavioral health care sciences. WCNC Charlotte's Colin Mayfield spoke to the Democratic minority whip on what's next now that hundreds of thousands of North Carolinians could have better access. Colin. Yeah, Fred Vanessa lawmakers are saying this expansion will change access to health care for really so many, especially those in rural areas, promoting better mental health services and spurring economic growth. For years, this has been a heated topic for the legislature, but now it seems hearts and minds have changed. Medicaid expansion now a real thing in North Carolina. The uh, agreement uh, is that the Senate will modify the House's Medicaid expansion bill. The announcement grabbing the attention of President Joe Biden, who commented Thursday, quote, this bipartisan deal would expand Medicaid to hundreds of thousands of people. Vitally important to protect access to health care, particularly in our rural areas. Now we're taking advantage of those federal dollars uh, and we're going to be able to uh, give so much more coverage to folks all across the state. Expanding Medicaid, North Carolina will receive $1.8 billion from the Affordable Care Act funds to support mental and public safety support, among other things. How to spend that money will be an argument, though, for another day. Democratic Minority Whip Terry Brown, who represents District 92 here in Mecklenburg County, says we will see an economic impact related to this. In Mecklenburg County in particular, it's going to have the impact of being able to create thousands of jobs. When you're thinking about providers who are currently servicing people, they're going to be able to have the ability to hire new providers, be able to get more people to work here in North Carolina. There are also workforce shortages in terms of mental health care in North Carolina. Felicia Burnett with Moms Rising told me that these dollars will greatly impact mental health, where there's a need for more providers, especially those who will see Medicaid patients. Healthy parents also results in healthy care. So this is going to be good for the entire health of all of our families. So the bill the Senate will introduce will be a modification of the houses and is not out just yet. There's no timeline for that or when North Carolinians will be able to start signing up for this. But lawmakers expect to move quickly or they at least they want to. The North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services will review that legislation once they receive it. Fred Vanessa. All right, Colin, thank you.